what do you say of mumbai it doesn't sleep for 24 hours the, the day has only 24 hours it's the financial capital of the country it's got the gateway of india 1911 when king george v came down along with uh, the royal highness and what more can you say it's produced a tendulkar it's produced a gavaskar it's produced a michael ferreira a wilson jones i can keep on going on but it's time for me to go across to sadar patel uh, who, with engineering college they're situated at a place called Andheri. If you've never been to Mumbai, it's the northern suburb of the city of Mumbai. Uh, tell me, you guys are in the semi-finals. Can you pinch yourself and say that you believe that you're in the semi-finals? It's indeed like the same thing. It's like a dream come true. Yeah, that's true that a dream is not fully accomplished. Two matches are there yet, and then the dream will be accomplished. But yes, this is also a dream-like situation for us. You know, you uh, are from an institute which has got some of the biggest names in the history of India, Sardar Patel. You know, do you sometimes sit back and say that we need to live in the footsteps of this icon? Yes, sir, it's true. And we are always fortunate enough that we are... Uh, with Sardar Patel College of Engineering who has such a big legacy and we are proud today that we have raised the, risen the name to a certain extent and we are above all the teams in Mumbai and that's a very big thing for us. You know, I know you'll be very modest when you talk to us but uh, what's been that one single sentence which would say that that's made us go through to these semi-finals? The hard work, the hard work and the dedication the our team had uh, delivered in this in these matches in this competition that's the thing which will make, which will win, make us win the final semi finals you know when this entire crowd out here is very attentive uh, we've got a young audience out here we got a lot of parents as well now what would you tell them what is it besides what you just said has enabled the two of you and the team to go through to the semi finals I will, I, will, I will ask the parents to support their students to participate in such competitions and let them pursue their own aim. Let them enjoy their interests. Don't force them to go in any fields and all. They will surely excel. So, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's amazing stuff that these young boys and girls keep on telling me. Coming back to you, it's been a Saturday morning, chill in the air, but there's a warmth, I'm sure, in the robots and you. You know, the combination of man and machines as we head towards the next century, how important is it going to be? Uh, we, are, we are like mad about this thing because it's the need of the hour and the need of the century and the man's and machines have to come together and do something for the world. For the world. So this is a, like a starting step for us and this will surely take us further in our future. I love the city because I like the biryani there. I like the the historical monuments in that particular place and it's sad that that particular side next to me the Mufa Khan Jacques College is not in the semi-finals my heart and mind kept on saying that they should be there in the semi-finals they've been amazing side and all, all that I'm going to tell you is that you made us proud you not disgraced us and you've gone up holding your heads high and I'm sure this crowd out here is going to be very very appreciative of your performance be proud, go back to Hyderabad and say, we are the college of the future. Actually, it's all yours from here on. Well, rightly said, Milan, and the tagline is, no fear, no shy, we are the Mia Bhai. Can we, can we hear it loud in front of you guys? One, two, three. No fear, no shy, we are Mia Bhai. Can you guys, you have to cheer for them. They've been such a lovely team. No fear, no shy, we are Mia Bhai. Well, I have to say, winning matches and winning hearts, if I have to choose from, I would definitely like to win hearts. And that's what your team has done, Mufakkam Chah from Hyderabad. First of all, congratulations for reaching till the quarterfinals. Congratulations. And unfortunately, you couldn't get through the quarterfinals. What went wrong exactly? It was a high scoring match, you know, 6-4, 6-5 was the final score. And you were up against a tough team like Nurma. Yes, uh, last moment we were asked to ch change our racket position. Uh, we were using a block uh, uh, on the uh, handle, so we were supposed to change the racket. So at the last moment, we changed the racket, uh, so our practice was done uh, on the other racket. So that was the thing we missed. 
and also like was there a little fear or were you intimidated by the statue of nirmala they've been champions so many times i mean be honest here yes of course uh, there was i think uh, that we were uh, uh, in constantly touch with our seniors from america they, uh, uh, they said they were the champions but you have to uh, do it on your will power nirmala has been doing this on the will power so do you so uh, there were lot, lots of prayers uh, from around the world uh, for us so that was the difference man, between us and them okay i would i would like you to to tell me what are the positives you have taken in spite of the fact i don't want to say it again but you've lost it but what are the positives you've been here in in, in pune for the tournament for over a week i've seen you guys not having a proper sleep not eating properly but living with with your robot you know like a player for a player his racket or his his instrument becomes his extension and for you your robot became your extension so i mean throw some light on that what was your relationship with that and what's been your experience over the past one week uh, it was really good uh, we worked really hard and it was my third time in robocon uh, it was third time in quarter finals for me uh, i wanted to make it large though uh, so uh, hard luck and uh, there were lots of support from the crowd and other teams they were counting on us to make it to the finals and may uh, get india the trophy from indonesia they were counting on us so uh, hard luck people sorry for not getting the uh, thing right uh, and uh, we uh, we learned a lot uh, different teams uh, we discuss our technology we discuss our things and uh, it was really amazing we worked really hard almost 6 8 months to get to here and uh, last two months we didn't get proper sleep didn't get proper uh, food so hope next year we do it better all right guys now mind as i said in the beginning you might have lost the match but you won millions of hearts congratulations for that and do well in the coming the robocon here and over to milan now milan what have you got now you know uh, when i go back this evening akshay i'm going to tell you one thing that i'm not going to be so much rejoicing or the joy of a finalist or a victor out there what i'm going to be rejoicing at the wonderful display that the losers in the quarter finals have displayed out here uv patel from mesana it's a place where we mentioned is the hub of the milk products of this country it's the place where the oil comes on and quickly before the semi final gets underway the two of you broken hand out here and he still has performed mujhe batao saruche yeah it's a very nice and a mane bahut game che karan ke hu gujarati chu tell me you again because the semi final is about to get underway one quick word aap yahan se kya sikke gaye hain hum yahan se sikke gaye ki humko kaise aage badhna hai this is the thing we lost the match but hopes in our heart still not died we would come back we would come back with more action well the, yes yes we are like a phoenix bird who is rise again and again again and again we are also like that we will again rise again next year ah uh, yes they are like the phoenix which rises from the ashes time for me now to go across to professor chakradev because the first of the semi finals is about to get underway it's going to be the semi finals who are ready out here on the badminton court which is actually the robominton court out here in 2015 akshay my colleague commentator is ready to take on the first of the semi finals the stage is set sit back and enjoy some wonderful moments here on doordarshan तर इथे आपण बघितलं की काही जे संघ होते ज्या संघांनी सामने जिंकले होते ते तर अर्थातच आनंदी होते कारण का त्यांनी उपांत्य फेरीच्या सामन्यामध्ये धडक मारली आहे पण काही असे जे संघ होते जे संघ त्या उपांत्यपूर्व फेरीच्या सामन्यामध्ये हरले जसं की कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग पुणे आय आय टी दिल्ली मुफाखाम ज्या कॉलेज ऑफ इन्स्टिट्यू कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग अँड टेक्नॉलॉजी आणि यू व्ही पटेलचा संघ हे चार संघ पराभूत झालेले आहेत पण त्या दरम्यान आपण तयार आहोत ते पहिल्या सेमी फायनल साठी राष्ट्रीय रोबोकॉन दोन हजार पंधरा ज्याची संकल्पना आहे रोबो मिंटन म्हणजे रोबो जे खेळतात बॅडमिंटन त्याचा पहिला उपांत्य फेरीचा सामना सुरू होतोय एल डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग निळ्या गणवेशात तर कृष्णा इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग अँड टेक्नॉलॉजी गाझियाबाद हा संघ असणार आहे तो लाल गणवेशात पंच टी पी सिंग हे तयार आहेत तर ते सांगतात की मी तयार आहे आवाज कमी आणि लेट्स स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट सेमी फायनल एल डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग अहमदाबादचा संघ निळ्या गणवेशात लाल गणवेशात गाझियाबादचा कृष्णा इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग अँड टेक्नॉलॉजी 
पण पहिली जी सर्व्हिस आहे ती सर्व्हिस मिळत नाही आहे यशस्वीरित्या पूर्ण होत नाही आहे ती लाल गणवेशातला के आय ई टी म्हणजे कृष्णा इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग अँड टेक्नॉलॉजी आणि एल डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग अहमदाबादचा संघ जो आहे तो निळ्या गणवेशात पण त्या दरम्यान लाल गणवेशातल्या कृष्णा इन्स्टिट्यूट दबाव है तो एल डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग अहमदाबाद हाथ संघा न्या गणवेश कारण हि सर्विस बरबर करा लग रहा है बरबर सर्विस है आता बगित अपन हा कैमेरा एंगल मे कि बरबर तो शटल कॉक पिवळ्या बॉक्स मध्ये येऊन पडला आणि त्यामुळेच बरोबर गुण मिळणार आहे तो त्या एल डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग अहमदाबादच्या संघाला त्यामुळे इथे आपण बघतोय की हा उपांत्य फेरीचा राष्ट्रीय रोबोकॉन दोन हजार पंधराच्या उपांत्य फेरीचा पहिला सामना आहे रिटर्न हे करतोय यशस्वी रिटर्न आहे आनंद साजरा करत आहेत तो एल डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग अहमदाबादचा संघ कौतुक करावे लगना है संघ है तो अहमदाबाद गाजियाबाद मुंबई आणि अर्थात निर्मा यूनिवर्सिटी अहमदाबाद चार संघ जे हैं उपांत्य फेरी चे बलाढ़ संघ बलवान संघ पुनः एक अपन बढ़त है कि पंच संगता है कि हि एक यशस्वी सर्विस है थम्सअप देव संगता है कृष्णा इंस्टिट्यूटला एक गुण मिलते है आता सर्विस है ती नि गणवेश एल डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग हा संघा पता बो कि सर्विस बरबर होते का सर्विस बरबर कर प्रयत्न है पी सर्विस बरबर लैंड है ती तो पिव्या बॉक्स मे गुण मिलना है निश्चित बिती वेग प्रकार हा हि जी संकल्पना है यर्षा की रोबो मिंटन की टाइम आउट घोन संघांधी एक टाइम आउट घेता तो तीस सेकंदा का एडजस्टमेंट्स कराएं रोबो मे करू शाह रोबो मिंटन की संकल्पना है कि रोबोस खेलत बैडमिंटन आणि जो ही राष्ट्रीय रोबो कॉन दोन हजार पंधरा ची स्पर्धा तो आंतरराष्ट्रीय रोबोकॉन स्पर्धा जी ऑगस्ट मध्य इंडोनेशिया मध्य हो रहा स्पर्धे मध्य भारत प्रतिनिधित्व करना है एल डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग कृष्णा इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग सरदार पटेल कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग कि निर्मा यूनिवर्सिटी हा चार संघांपैकी को संघ भारत प्रतिनिधित्व करना है हाच कड़े सर्व लक्ष है दरमियान एक सुंदर रिटर्न अपना बढ़ा मिलते हैं तो एल डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग अहमदाबाद का सद्या तरी कि दोनी जे संघ है एक अशी सुरुवात केलेली आहे कारण का त्यांना माहिती आहे की सर्व्हिस वरनच आपल्याला पॉईंट मिळणार आहे त्या दरम्यान आणखीन एक यशस्वी सर्व्हिस आहे ती एल डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग अहमदाबादच्या संघाची त्यामुळे अहमदाबादचा संघ विरुद्ध घाझियाबादचा संघ असा हा उपांत्य फेरीचा पहिला सामना राष्ट्रीय रोबोकॉन संकल्पना रोबोमिंटन दोन हजार पंधरा शिवछत्रपती क्रीडा संकुलच्या बॅडमिंटन कोर्टवरच योगा योगाने आणि इथे आपण बघतोय की एक सुंदर अशी सर्व्हिस पुन्हा एकदा एल डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग अहमदाबादच्या संघाने किती आपल्याला स्पष्टपणे दिसतंय की जेव्हा तो जेव्हा ते शटल कॉक आहे ते त्या येल्लो झोनमध्ये पिवळ्या झोनमध्ये पडतं तेव्हा लगेचच गुण मिळतो परत एकदा आपण बघतोय की लाल गणवेशातला कृष्णा इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग अँड टेक्नॉलॉजी या संघाने ती सर्व्हिस केली होती आणि यशस्वीरित्या पूर्ण केलेली आहे त्या दरम्यान शटल कॉक लोड के लिए आता सर्विस करना है तो एल डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग अहमदाबाद का संघ बोलना यशस्वीरित सर्विस पूर्ण करता ये का सर्विस रिटर्न करना चाहिए प्रयत्न है आणि हा सुंदर रिटर्न आहे इकडे आपल्याला बघायला मिळतोय तो कृष्णा इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग अँड टेक्नॉलॉजीचा खऱ्या अर्थाने एक अटीतटीचा सामना आपल्याला बघायला मिळतोय पहिला उपांत्य फेरीचा सामना रोबोकॉन दोन हजार पंधराचा त्या दरम्यान जे दोन्ही पंच आहेत आपल्याला त्या बॅडमिंटनच्या फील्डमध्ये बघायला मिळत आहेत असं आता असं जर झालं की जर दोघांची दोन्ही टीम्सची जी गुणसंख्या आहे ती जर एक झाली तर मग काही त्यांच्या काही अटी आहेत त्या ते बघतात जर त्याच्यातही सेम असेल तर मात्र ते रीमॅच साठी जाऊ शकतात त्या दरम्यान तेजिंदर पाल सिंग जे आपले पंच आहेत ते तयार आहेत बघूया ते काय निकाल सांगतात Institute of Technology from Gaziabad they scored 6 points तर इथे आपण बघतोय की पहिली फायनलिस्ट टीम आपल्याला मिळालेली आहे आपल्या स्क्रीन वर बघा दिसलं होतं की गाझियाबादचा संघ कृष्णा इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग अँड टेक्नॉलॉजी 
बघा तो विद्यार्थी आहे अजय त्याच्याबरोबर प्रतीक सिद्धार्थ अजित हे आनंद साजरा करत आहेत कृष्णा इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग अँड टेक्नॉलॉजी गाझियाबादच्या संघाने एल डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग अहमदाबाद ला सहा पाच असं नमवलेलं आहे आणि धडक मारलेली आहे ती अंतिम फेरी मध्ये आणि अप्रतिम अशी कामगिरी झालेली आहे ती कृष्णा इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग अँड टेक्नॉलॉजी या संघाची नमस्कार दर्शक मेरा नाम आहे अक्षय तो पहिला संघ आहे जो फायनल मध्ये गेलेला आहे धन्यवाद अक्षय आणि आता आपण खुशी दिखली दुसरा पुरे ऑडियन्स दुसरा दुसरा उपांत्य फेरीचा सामना आता सुरू होणार आहे त्यासाठी आपण सज्ज होत आहोत दुसरी सेमीफायनल असणार आहे ती सरदार पटेल कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग अंधेरी इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नॉलॉजी निर्मा युनिव्हर्सिटी यांचा आता त्या दरम्यान आपण ऍक्शन रिप्ले बघूया काही हायलाइट बघूया ते पहिल्या सेमीफायनल चे इथे आपण बघतोय सर्व्हिस होती ती एल डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग ची इथे बघा शटल कॉक आपण क्लिअरली बघू शकतो बाहेर पडलं त्या पिवळ्या झोनच्या त्यामुळे गुण काही तिकडे मिळाला नाही पण इकडे कृष्णा इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग अँड टेक्नॉलॉजी यशस्वी सर्व्हिस होती त्यामुळे त्यांना तो गुण मिळाला आणि इथे आपण बघू शकतो त्या वेळेला बरोबर त्या रॅकेट बाहेर यायला पाहिजे आणि त्या रॅकेट त्याच वेळेला रिटर्न केला तर त्याला ते गुण मिळतात आणि असा आहे असा आहे तो हा खेळ रोबो मिंटन दोन हजार पंधराचा बघा सुंदर असं हे एक हा एक वेगळाच रोबो आहे खाली आणि वरती दोन रॅकेट आहेत वरती याच्यासाठी की एखादा स्मॅश मारावा लागला किंवा एखादा हाय रिटर्न मारावा लागला तर ते वरच्या रॅकेट काम करतात त्यामुळे खूप खूप विचार केलेला आहे ह्या सर्व विद्यार्थ्यांनी पण ह्या उपांत्य फेरीच्या सामन्यामध्ये कृष्णा इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग अँड टेक्नॉलॉजी गाझियाबादच्या संघाने वर्चस्व गाजवलं आणि एल डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग अहमदाबाद सहा पाच असं नमवत अंतिम फेरीमध्ये धडक मारली तयार आहे दुसरे सेमीफायनल केली दुसरी सेमीफायनल सरदार पटेल कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग उजवीकडे ते असणार आहेत निळ्या गणवेशात आणि लाल गणवेशात असणार आहेत ते इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नॉलॉजी निर्मा युनिव्हर्सिटी ते जसं मगाशी आपण चर्चा केली होती की सहा वेळा निर्मा युनिव्हर्सिटीनी राष्ट्रीय रोबोकॉन स्पर्धेचं जेतेपद पटकावलेलं आहे त्यामुळे ही सेमीफायनल किती महत्वाची आहे ह्याचा अंदाज आपण लावू शकतो त्यामुळे मुंबई चा संघ सरदार पटेल कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग आणि अहमदाबाद चा संघ निर्मा युनिव्हर्सिटी यांच्यात होणार आहे तो हा सेमीफायनल चा सामना पंच तेजेंदर पाल सिंग यांनी या सिग्नल दिलेला आहे सर्व्हिस करण्याचा प्रयत्न आणि यशस्वीरित्या सर्व्हिस आहे त्यामुळे निर्मा युनिव्हर्सिटीला हा गुण मिळतोय पहिला गुण मिळालेला आहे तो निर्मा युनिव्हर्सिटीला त्यामुळे चांगली अशी सुरुवात झालेली आहे असंच आपल्याला म्हणावं म्हणावं लागणार आहे त्यादरम्यान आता सर्व्हिस बदलते सरदार पटेल कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग चा सर्व्हिस करण्याचा प्रयत्न आणि सुंदर असा रिटर्न आहे तो निर्मा युनिव्हर्सिटीचा उगाच ते चॅम्पियन साईड म्हणून म्हटलं म्हटलं जात नाही त्यांना सहा वेळा त्यांनी राष्ट्रीय जेतेपद पटकावलेलं आहे आणि खरंच एक अप्रतिम अशी सुरुवात पहिली सर्व्हिस बरोबर दुसरा रिटर्न बरोबर त्यामुळे दोन गुण त्यांच्या खात्यात गेलेले आहेत पुन्हा एकदा सर्व्हिस करण्याचा प्रयत्न आणखी एक यशस्वी सर्व्हिस निर्मा युनिव्हर्सिटीचे हे जे विद्यार्थी आहेत दीपक आणि विराज खरंच आपण कौतुक करायला पाहिजे कारण का जे ऑपरेटर्स आहेत जे पीट मेंबर्स आहेत पीट मेंबर्स म्हणजे जे बाहेरनं या दोन रोबोजला मदत करतायत त्यांचंही तेवढंच मोठं योगदान आहे पुन्हा एकदा सर्व्हिस करण्याचा प्रयत्न आहे सर्व्हिस यशस्वी होत नाही सरदार पटेल कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग अंधेरी मुंबईचा संघ त्यामुळे निळ्या गणवेशातला जो संघ आहे सरदार पटेल कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग ते आता खरंच दबावात असणार आहेत कारण का निर्मा युनिव्हर्सिटीला अप्रतिम अशी सुरुवात मिळालेली आहे कारण का त्यांनी नुसत्या सर्व्हिसेस बरोबर नाही केल्या आहेत पण त्यांनी रिटर्नही केलेले आहेत त्यामुळे सध्या वर्चस्व आहे ते निर्मा युनिव्हर्सिटी या संघाकडे पुन्हा एकदा एक यशस्वी सर्व्हिस निर्मा युनिव्हर्सिटीची निर्मा युनिव्हर्सिटीचा दीपक शौनक डेनेम आणि विराज सहा वेळा त्यांनी राष्ट्रपद राष्ट्रीय जेतेपद पटकावलेलं आहे आणि चॅम्पियन साईड आहे ती त्यामुळे बहुदा असंच वाटतंय की ते जिंकतायत पंच तेजिंदर पाल सिंग तयार आहेत त्यांच्या स्कोर सहित आणि बघूया ते स्कोर काय सांगतायत आणि फायनल मध्ये कोण जात आहे कृष्णा इन्स्टिट्यूट ला भेटायला
where a steam in blue Sardar Patel College of Engineering from Mumbai unfortunately they could not score any point so the winner of the second semi final match is is team in red from Ahmedabad आणि निर्मा युनिव्हर्सिटी हा संघ फायनल ला गेलेला आहे आता आपण जाऊया the top two teams who will be competing in the final match of National Robocon 2015 are Krishna Institute of Engineering and Technology, Ghaziabad and Institute of Technology, Nirma University, Ahmedabad. Hearty congratulations to all the finalists. And all the best for the final match. What do you think Himanshu? Which team is going to take home the national trophy? Any guesses? Well, Anne, I really don't know, but I believe that the final result is predestined. And what is the basis of this belief? Well, look at those trophies. Each of them has been made for a particular team. By the organizers? <laughs> no, 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 no. By destiny. Every, every human being is made for someone special after all. I beg to differ, Himanshu. When someone longs for something or somebody and makes sincere efforts, desires get fulfilled certainly. If you don't believe me, watch the next performance. One more refreshing dance performance for you all.
was indeed a spectacular performance. Please give them a huge round of applause. We once again welcome all the dignitaries present here along with the real heroes of robotic contest. The members of contesting teams, the instructors and all the members of the extended Robocon family. We dedicate this national chapter of Robocon to the spirit of universal brotherhood by invoking the Almighty and praying for the world peace. I request you all to kindly rise for the world peace prayer. जय जय स्वसंवेद्या आत्मरूप देवा तुचि गणेश सकलार्थ मति प्रकाश मणे निवृत्तिदासु अवधारी भूजी गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरव नम पूर्णमद पूर्णमिद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्णश्च पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य शाति 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 हरि ईशावाश्यमद यत्किंच जगत्यां जगत तेन त्यक्तेन भुंजी था मृध कश्यस्विधन ओ भूर्भुवस्व तत्सूर्वरण्यम भरगो देवस्य धीमहि धीयो यो न प्रचोदया सर्वे सुखि सू सर्वे सू निराम सर्वे भद्रा पश्य कशि दुखमाया अंतरिक्ष शांति पृथ्वी शांति आपशाति औषधय शांति वनस्पतय शांति विश्वदेवा शांति ब्रह्मशाति सर्वशाति शातिरव शाति साधि ओ शाति 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 Thank you everyone. Now we have reached the stage 
where top two teams will compete for supremacy in the final match and the winner will represent India in the International Rubicon 2015 to be held in Indonesia on 23rd August under the aegis of Asia Pacific Broadcasting Union. The theme for this year's National Robocon 2015 is Robominton, and I'm sure India has a good chance to win this prestigious contest. Yes, Himanshu. After all, the popular sport of badminton has its roots in India, and that too in this very city, Pune, where this prestigious ABU Robocon National Contest is taking place. And India is one of the few countries which have sustained their commitment with Robocon since its inception. Doordarshan being India's single largest television network and the only public service broadcaster has been instrumental in providing the widest coverage and public reach to Robocon. We have with us on the stage Mr. Mukesh Sharma, Additional Director General, Doordarshan, India and Vice Chairman of ABU Robocon 2015 International Contest Committee. We welcome him. We also welcome our Chief Guest, Professor Dr. Vishwanath Karad, Founder, Executive President and Managing Trustee, MIT Group of Institutions. We have the privilege of having with us Mr. Akito Tomel, Managing Director, ROHM Semiconductor, India Private Limited. We also have Honorable Dr. S. Guru Prasad, Director, R&D, DRDO. We also have respected Ranjan, Mr. Ranjan Chaudhary, NSDC, India. Dr. Alok Mukherjee, Head Robotics Division, DRDO. Mr. Mangesh Karad, Executive Director, Trustee, MIT. Mr. Ashok Joshi, Director, Technology Holding, USA. Professor Anil Shahastra Budde, Director, College of Engineering, Pune. Honorable Mr. Aditya Devraj, Vice President, Projects, Cognizant Technology Solutions. We have Mr. Prashant Rao, Technical Manager, MathWorks India Limited. Ms. Shivai, Mr. Sandeep Desai, and Mr. Mangesh Desai from Go Wild, Pune. We have Dr. Sunil Karad, Executive Director, MIT Academy of Engineering, and the Chief Convener, Robocon 2015. We also have Honorable Dr. Yogesh Bhalirao, Principal, MIT Academy of Engineering, and Chief Coordinator, Robocon 2015. We are honored to have your gracious presence. Now, we would like to felicitate our honorable dignitaries on the dais. I request Dr. Sunil Karad, the Chief Convener of Robocon 2015, to kindly felicitate Dr. S. Guru Prasad, Director, R&D, DRDO, Pune. Mr. Ranjan Chaudhary, INI, World Skills India, NSDC. Professor Anil Shahastra Budde, Director, College of Engineering, Pune. May I now request our Principal of MIT Academy of Engineering and the Chief Coordinator of Robocon 2015, Dr. Yogesh Balirao, to kindly felicitate Dr. Alok Mukherjee, Head Robotics Division, DRDO. Mr. Aditya Devraj, Vice President, Projects Cognizant Technology Solutions. Mr. Ashok Joshi, Director, Technology Holding, USA. Mr. Mangesh Karad, Executive Director, Trustee, MIT. We are also glad to felicitate our referees who have been working hard, objectively, and meticulously for conducting all the matches smoothly. I request Professor M.D. Goddard to kindly felicitate our referees. Professor Anand Chakradev, Dean of MIT Academy of Engineering and Director, International Relations for the MIT Group of Institutes. Professor T.P. Singh from PDP University. Can we kindly have T.P. Singh, sir, on the stage, please? <laughs> Prof. 
Professor S. K. Saha from IIT Delhi and Professor S. S. Ohol, College of Engineering, Pune. We would also like to introduce our Doordarshan commentators who have ensured the extensive coverage of Robocon 2015 on Doordarshan. Mr. Melind Wagle, Mr. Akshay Maurya, and Mr. Prasanna Sant. Please give them a big round of applause. Please give a huge round of applause for T.P. Singh. Thank you, sirs. Now it's time to have some words of encouragement from some of our dignitaries on the dais. Friends, I am glad to announce that this year, on account of Professor Vishwanath Karad's Platinum Jubilee Year, a special prize comprising a gold medal and a cash prize of Rs. 1 lakh will be given to the winning team of Robocon 2015. It was Professor Karad, the founder of MIT Group of Institution, who fostered the association with D Doordarshan to make Robocon India the most celebrated event in India. The first runner-up, second prize winner, will also receive the silver medal and a cash prize of Rs. 50,000 as a tribute to Mr. Mukesh Sharma's indispensable contribution to the success of ABU Robocon. Mr. Mukesh Sharma, the additional Director General of Doordarshan in association with MIT, has taken Robocon to a, to a new level in India. Now it's time to have some words of encouragement from some, uh, some of our dignitaries on the dais. To begin with, I would like to invite Dr. S. Guru Prasad, Director, R&D, DRDO, to kindly say a few words. Honorable Dr. Vishwanath Karadji, the dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen, and students, I am really very excited to see the enthusiasm and the energy of the competitors. It is really excellent to watch such a very spirited competition. What I want to tell is the most important thing is you have to understand knowledge is supreme. And today in the information age, like, like we say it is a knowledge era, any, whatever information you want, it is available in internet, whatever uh, information source, but that is not knowledge. It is information which you yourself have to convert into knowledge. Information is not knowledge. When you learn, it becomes knowledge. That is one thing. Another thing is most important apart from knowledge is the spirit of fighting. Never to say that I have lost. That's what today we have seen when I watched the students being uh, interviewed. A failure teaches you 10 times than what you learn when you succeed. When you, when you succeed in something, you know that you, are, you only attempted what you could do. You may fail, but aim high. You may fail, but that will teach you 10 times and it will take you to a new level. That is very important. Then another one more point I want to make is to keep alive the spirit of inquiry, to have a scientific attitude. I don't like to call it a scientific temper because it means it may mean something else, but we mean the same, the scientific attitude. The scientific attitude will inquire everything, not only just how you question everything, why, then that becomes the path of knowledge. You, there is always something to learn in everything you do, everything you observe. This kind of uh, spirit you should always keep alive within yourself. That is, that is my message to the student com community. I thank the organizers to inviting me to part of this very, very exciting, the Robominton competition. And I wish the Indian team 
uh, in the international competition will definitely do well and i wish him wish them all the success and i know you are going to do much better and i know you are capable of making this robots operate on their own autonomously and i wish you all the success all the participants and also once again thank the organizers thank you very much jai hind thank you sir may i now invite mr ranjan choudhury ini world skills india nsdc to kindly share a few words with us dr karad mr sharma dignitaries on the dais ladies and gentlemen and my young friends who are the stars of today's event this is the second time that i'm here at robocon and as always what strikes me most is the enthusiasm energy and passion that i see in all of you and which is very palpable my congratulations to all of you for this event your skills were on display but i can only imagine the hard work in terms of the planning and execution that went on behind as also my congratulations to the organizers the mentors who are here and i hope that you all deserve get the success that you deserve in the international competitions what was also striking is that what you do and have displayed here is contemporary in terms of the skills that you will also need in the real world situation the government also has skill development on its agenda very high on its agenda and we also have a ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship which has been formed for this very reason i would like to use this opportunity to also tell all of you here a little bit about world skills competitions the national skill development corporation to which i belong had something called world skills competitions in india we recently had our finals at pragati maidan from 26 to 28th of february it is the equivalent of olympics in the skills arena every two years about 1000 young contestants from 50 countries across the globe come together to compete in skills as diverse as cooking floristry bricklaying all the way to mechatronics to cnc turning and milling and even mobile robotics so we will have our winners represent india in sao paulo in from august 11 to 16th i'd request all of you to follow the world skills movement be a part of it and encourage all your young friends also to be a part of it finally my thanks and my congratulations to both durdarshan and mit for organizing this event and for inviting me here thank you thank you very much sir i now call upon a very eminent personality whose contribution to art cinema and television in india is immense he has also played a key role in introducing robocon in india i'm talking about none other than mr mukesh sharma additional director general durdarshan and vice chairman abu robocon international contest committee he was the director of durdarshan k in mumbai for 7 years and also has introduced dd sayadri channel in maharashtra he has received many awards and accolades for his indispensable contribution at various levels in arts cinema and television i request mr mukesh sharma to kindly encourage all of us with his words of wisdom good morning everyone did i hear good morning no i didn't good morning yes wake up wake up okay so one more day one more event is going to come to an end after this uh, the finals will be played today and somebody is going to hold the hand of mit and doordarshan and will go to indonesia now who is that going to be ghaziabad is going to be ahmedabad we'll find out soon but all said and done the game has been played and it has been played in the game of spirit uh 
the whole idea is who will win in the international also there when the international teams are there will also depend that do we have a literal thinking kya hum log alag hatke sochte hain aisa ek farmer ki ladki ne socha tha ye kahani hai himalay ki himalay mein ek farmer tha usne ek मनी लेंडर से बहुत सारा पैसा उधार ले लिया था और वो लौटा नहीं पा रहा था मनी लेंडर उससे रोज कहता था कि जल्दी मेरा पैसा मुझे वापस करो वरना मैं तुम्हें जेल भिजवा दूंगा बेचारा फार्मर डरा हुआ था अल्टीमेटली और मनी लेंडर भी एक अधेड़ किस उम्र का आदमी था काफी खुद मनी लेंडर ने फिर एक एडवाइस दी उसने कहा अच्छा फार्मर एक काम करते हैं तुम अपनी लड़की की मेरे से शादी कर दो तो मैं तुम्हारा सारा कर्ज माफ कर दूंगा फार्मर को ये बड़ा झटका सा लगा कि ये बूढ़ा आदमी अधेड़ उम्र का इसके साथ मैं अपनी जवान लड़की की शादी कर दूं ये तो कोई बात नहीं हुई मनी लैंडर समझ गया कि ये कुछ सोच में उसने कहा चलो एक ऑप्शन मैं तुम्हें देता हूं मैं एक थैली में एक 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 बैग में दो पत्थर के टुकड़े डालूंगा एक काले रंग का एक सफेद रंग का अगर काले रंग का पत्थर का टुकड़ा तुम्हारी लड़की ने उठाया आंख बंद करके तो फिर मैं उससे शादी करूंगा लेकिन तुम्हारा कर्ज माफ कर दूंगा अगर सफेद रंग का उठाया तो फिर मैं उससे शादी नहीं करूंगा और मैं तुम्हारा कर्जा भी माफ कर दूंगा नाउ इट वाज अ सिचुएशन जहां की कुछ समझ नहीं आ रहा था क्या करें एनी anyway, फार्मर ने एग्री किया और उसके बाद मनी लैंडर ने जब उसको बैग दिया तो उसने चालाकी के साथ दोनों काले रंग के पत्थर के टुकड़े उस बैग में डाल दिए जो इस फार्मर की लड़की ने देख लिए थे एंड शी रियलाइज की अब कंफ्यूजन हो गया है उसके पास सिर्फ तीन ऑप्शन थे या तो वो मनी लैंडर को एक्सपोज कर देती या फिर वो उसको उठा लेती है मान करके जो मेरे भाग्य में है ठीक है या फिर वो नहीं उठाती और अगर नहीं उठाती तो शायद वो फिर उसको जेल भेज देता था तो उसने एक सोचा क्यों ना एक एक जिसे कहते हैं लिटरल थिंकिंग का रास्ता अपनाए और उसने एक पत्थर उठाया उसमें से और उठाते समय नीचे गिरा दिया जब गिराया तो वो और जो पत्थर पड़े थे उनमें मिक्स हो गया ये पता नहीं चला कि कौन सा पत्थर था तो उसने कहा भी कि आई एम रियली सॉरी मेरे हाथ से वो छूट गया मैं क्या करूँ तो लोगों ने कहा ठीक है दूसरे वाले में से निकाल लो उससे पता चल जाएगा कि पहले पत्थर का रंग क्या था और चूंकि उसको पता था कि पहला पत्थर भी काला था तो उस लड़की ने दूसरे में से उठाया वो काले रंग का था तो सब लोग तो कह नहीं पाया मनी लैंडर भी कि हाँ उसमें व्हाइट रंग का था ब्लैक था पहले से एंड द गर्ल सेव द सिचुएशन सो एक ऐसी सिचुएशन जिस सिचुएशन में कुछ नहीं बन सकता था शी शी केम आउट ऑफ इट एंड गेव अ टोटल न्यू ट्विस्ट टू द होल थिंग सो दैट इज वॉट इज लिटरल थिंकिंग मेरा भी ऐसा मानना है कि मैं ऑब्जर्व कर रहा हूँ आई एम ऑब्जर्विंग कि गाजियाबाद ने uh, अपना अहमदाबाद ने नॉट दैट आई एम ट्राइंग टू टेक देयर साइड्स एंड आई रियली डोंट नो वेदर दे विल विन और नॉट लेकिन जो लिटरल थिंकिंग उन्होंने अपने रैकेट्स में दिखाई है कि फास्ट मूविंग करते हैं और वो करते हैं कभी लेकिन कभी कभी बाहर भी निकल जाती है शटल कॉक डिपेंड करता है शायद कहीं वो उनकी मदद भी करे बट वी कंटिन्यू टू थिंक लिटरली लाइक दैट एंड मे बी दैट विल गिव अस अ टाइम टू टू विन एंड टू डू बेटर थिंग्स इन लाइफ थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सर वंस अगेन थैंक यू एम फॉर होस्टिंग दिस ग्रेट इवेंट फॉर अस एंड विल बी बैक अगेन नेक्स्ट ईयर Thank you sir that was indeed a very interesting story Professor Dr Vishwanath Karad is an eminent and highly respected personality in the field of education in India He has revolutionized the engineering education in the state of Maharashtra His incessant work towards world peace spirituality and education is well known Today the MIT group founded by professor karan has emerged as one of the premier centers of academic excellence in india it is my proud privilege to call upon professor dr vishwanath dikarar the chief guest of today's function and the founder executive president and managing trustee mit group of institutes to deliver the presidential address thank you so much friends for a very enthusiastic presentation and participation in this national level robocon contest and a what a wonderful performance by many number of teams in showing their skill and talent and the creative ability in making these variety of robots which showed their performance behind which 
I know that the very talented team have been working for the last two, three months or so. Thank you so much to the teachers who have given the guidance to these youngsters, enthusiastic youngsters from various engineering colleges. Friends, remember that on this occasion of such a highly skilled and technical competition with machines, robots, which have been met by the men of talent and skill. But we don't want to be the machines ourselves. And from that angle, possibly, I would like to remind to you, friends, on this occasion, when we have a concluding session or a validity function or the prize distribution ceremony, which is going to take place at the hands of very learned and skilled and talented important personalities sitting on the dais. And especially, I must make a mention to you, friends, it's my duty as a head of MIT group of institutions, Pune, that we must be very grateful to this man once again, I say, and you must give a big clap to Mr. Mukesh Sharma. I want you to have a smiling face because of, I'm not praising this, but let me tell you honestly, friends, that this MIT group of institutions got this opportunity and we could meet each other. Only because of Mr. Mukesh Sharma's lead, his deep commitment and involvement in promoting this robo game or the robotics. And for the last 14 years or so, he has been responsible to encourage us. The entire teams, what you see here, and you people, your presence on this campus and in this hall has been made possible by this one gentleman. That's why I said I'm grateful to you, Mr. Mukesh Sharma. I have no words to express my feelings. To my friends, especially who are very enthusiastic now for the final game and to see the winner, possibly very confident of themselves, Thank you so much. But friends, remember, I would like to just remind to you once again, because I have the same feeling and a passion, and the fire in the belly, along with technical and innovative concepts like IT, computer, particle physics, artificial intelligence, you use all those words possible. You must know, friends, that still Behind all this, we have a duty towards promoting the Indian tradition and culture, which has a tremendous sense of commitment for the discipline and the character building. These two words I'm using specifically, because the world is looking to you people, remember, friends. On those words of wisdom, again, I repeat, which I said in the first lecture, the great noble son of India, Swami Vivekananda, had forecasted, I repeat to you, friends, that 21st century is going to be the century for Mother India. Remember these words. And what he says is, this Mother India is going to emerge as a knowledge corridor of the whole world with the sense of wisdom. That's more important. Knowledge part, information part, technical understanding, and Mr. Ranjan Choudhury is here representing the skill development of Indian government. He has been the chief of the skill development program of India, which has been also a new buzzword. But remember, friends, the knowledge along with wisdom is the more important part. And you are the people who have used their wisdom, not only the skill and the development of the creative part of it, the robots, while they have been developing this wonderful mechanism which made it possible to play this badminton game through these robotics. Friends, you will understand the spirit what I've been trying to tell you. And finally, when you leave this campus, I know that those boys who have participated, all the students, they are certainly going to be much better engineer than anyone else. Because this teaches you, this makes you learn, this makes you understand. This makes you understand the creative part of it, and that's why I feel you are more wiser. And this very spirit of Robocon is going to help our students of India 
not only any institution like MIT or Nirma or Ahmedabad or any other institution. But let me tell you, friends, tomorrow a day is going to come when you will be looked after by the whole world as some highly skilled and talented people, but having a sense of character behind. And that's why this world peace prayer, which you heard, again I repeat, it's not a religious prayer, friends. You must know this, that this prayer is certainly very scientifically based prayer. Not a single word speaks about any religion, remember. Not Hinduism, not Islam, not Buddhism, not any other religion like Christianity. You must know that each and every word speaks about the words of wisdom, I say it again, words of wisdom which the whole world is looking for. Thank you so much, friends. I'm grateful to you, all of you. Best of luck.